Can you tell me your guys' names and your channel, what you do? My name's Chris. I'm Casey. And we are with Garden State Tortoise. Cool, and you were mentioning before you got on camera that you've kept turtles and tortoises since you were five. So what inspired the transition from keeping them as pets to making it a professional? It never really seemed like a reality, you know? Um, I was just like anybody here, you know, starting off as a kid, playing with reptiles, you know, and then as I got older and older, I was the one out of my group of friends that just did not grow out of it, you know? <laughs> and um, I always toyed with the idea of wanting to do something more with it, and then when I met Casey, I kind of approached her, I was like, hey, how would you feel about just kind of like doing this, given, given this our all, and she was, she had no hesitation. She's like, let's do it. So we started Garden State Tortoise as an official entity in 2011. And then we just uh, started going at social media. It started with Instagram for us. It kind of just like spiraled. It was just opportunity after opportunity that we just said, yes, let's go for it. Let's try it. Is there one that one species that's like the favorite for both of you or? Um, I would definitely say the Diamondback Terrapin just because I work with them in the field and I've seen all the struggles that they go through and they're just beautiful animals to begin with and so unique. Um, and I just kind of have my heart in with that species. For me, it's the Herman's tortoise. You know, I, I was nine years old. My grandmother brought one back from Italy. And, <laughs> you just smuggled it. Yeah, like, yeah. Back then yeah. when you were, you know, it wasn't a big deal to do it. Yeah. And um, that was it. That that species has just been, you know, a focal for me, you know, my, my whole life pretty much. And, uh, you know, they're kind of like an underdog. So I think that's one of the reasons why I just continue to love them so much too. And how many species do you guys keep at Garden State Tortoise? Probably between 50 and 60. Is most of it based at your house? Yeah, yeah. We, we, um, we purposely bought a property and facility that we would be able to do this, you know. So we have um, we have some acreage, we have an external building, and everything is with us. We just don't keep anybody in the house, except the dogs. <laughs> is your facility open to the public? No, that and that is one of the most common questions we get because of, I guess, our presence on, on social media. Um, but we're not. And the main reason we do that is, is for privacy for our kids. You know, we want them to have as much normalcy as possible in their lives because this is not a normal life. Yeah. Do they ever help out with the turtles? You can't keep them away. Yeah, forget it. They're always hands-on. They can identify everything in the yard. I mean, it's really cool to see that they just naturally have a passion for it. We're not forcing anything on them. And uh, it's probably the most rewarding aspect to what we do is watching our kids just be obsessed. You know? it, it, it definitely is. And, and like you were saying, we, we enforce it on them. You know, we want them to love it on their own. And, you know, they're still very young, but they're showing that true, pure interest. And um, as long as they just go through life fully respecting them and not having in, any irrational fears, then I think we did good. Yeah. On your educational channels, do you focus on trying to send a specific message? We dance a fine line between conservation and preservation because we're active in both fields. Um, and it can get tricky at times because of just how different sides view things. We feel that you you can't have one or the you can't have one without the other. You know, if we're gonna truly keep these animals around forever, you gotta play both sides and you gotta do good at both. Um, so one of the things that we try to teach people is we, we try to show people like some of the turmoil that we go through with the animals that we have to rescue. We handle most of the rescue for the state of New Jersey with turtles. Um, but then we talk about there's nothing wrong with keeping these animals, but you have to do it right. You have you have to use all the right products. Zoom Ed's a you know great example. And um, that's what we try to convey in, in our videos of these enclosure builds and the amount of work that goes into it because it's not as simple as just setting up a 10 gallon tank. You guys recently rescued Otis, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. I realized he's, does he have full reign? Does he have a custom built setup? Yeah, so Otis is kept inside and by himself because he he's not ready to be with other turtles. I, I never will. Um, but no, he has his own custom setup and we tried to make that you know, because everybody seems to think Otis is dog-like, you know, he's not, he's still a turtle. So we have him set up that way and as natural as possible to keep that, that natural stimulation too for him. Mm -hmm. And you know, that goes hand in hand with the last question because people see his antics and how he is and they think he's a dog or they think he was like a reincarnated person. And but 
despite his capabilities and what he's like, he's still a box turtle and he has all box turtle needs. So that's, again, that, there, there's a message that we always try to let people know in his videos. Closing thoughts. I would have to say that um, the reptile hobby, the reptile industry, and, and all the social media aspects that come along with it, it's a beautiful thing right now. There's a lot of amazing people that are trying to share pure content and education on a regular basis. We're just two of them. And um, I think people should go into everything with as open minds as possible. Because like I said earlier, conservation and preservation is needed in order to do this uh, and to keep these animals around. And um, yeah, you can follow us on all social media platforms for as much reptile education as you can possibly stomach. <laughs>